for a few teas, the hungry fairy. Hey, everybody. So today I have here the Pokemon Go Plus. This is one of the hardest add-ons to get for a video game, especially for a mobile app game. So let's see if this enhances your playing experience. On the packaging, it's mostly useless. It just shows logos or just references you to websites. So we're going to skip past them. And we're going to take a look inside now. You have the instructions. You have the wristband. And you have the plus device itself. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. But it's made of plastic. It seems to be okay quality plastic. The design is very simple. By default, it's attached with a clip. This is definitely going to wear out. Small screw over here. And this is how you change the piece. And there's a pull tab for the battery. I'm guessing if you don't want to mess with this, you could just basically pull and start using. The front of the plus has a nice finish. The back is just a standard braid plastic. So let's take a look at the bracelet. The bracelet is braided and it looks like it just replaces the back cover of the Pokemon Go Plus. I wish it was an easy way to switch a bracelet without using a screwdriver. And here it is up close. The screw is fixed in place. You have the buckle that controls the length of the bracelet. And there's also a clip to hold the tail. At the moment, I don't trust the clip and it's very difficult to get a new plus. So I'm gonna go with the bracelet. I'm gonna first remove the screw. And the back cover easily pops off. And you can see the disposable battery it uses. It's a CR2032 watch battery. And the back cover goes on just as easily. To access the screw, all you have to do is just put the bracelet strap over. So I have pretty slender wrists, and it's a little bit big on me. For most men, it'll be okay. For some women, it'll probably look something like this. Yes, I know I have slightly girly arms. So let's try pairing this. I have already turned on Bluetooth, and that's all you have to do outside of the game. So go into your game, under settings, select the Pokemon Go Plus menu, and search for devices. When you press the search for devices, press the button of the Pokemon Go Plus. Hopefully it'll start flashing and then you'll find the Pokemon Go Plus. And once I found the device, all I did was just select it and that was it. The pairing process seems pretty easy. I didn't have to look for any codes. Now once you pair, you're going to see the plus icon in the left hand corner. To disable the plus, all you have to do is just hit the icon, and you see that it'll fade away. Now every time you start the game, you have to connect to the plus. All you have to do is just tap on the icon, and hit the button when it tells you to. Once you do that, it should link up right away. And the first thing I get to do was spin the Pokestop. And this is how it appears in the game, when it's front loaded. And the multicolor flash means it was successful. Now this information is stored in the log and also gives you a visual display if you front loaded the game. Now if you manually spin it and then you press the button to spin it, it's going to give you an error, which is the double red. Also your status bar will tell you that you can't spin it right away. To catch a Pokemon, it's going to give you a green light notification. All you have to do is just press the button. When it's successful, it's going to be a multicolor flash. The vibration is pretty discreet, so that's a plus. Now, if you hit the button and you fail to catch a Pokemon, you're going to get a red flash. 
and the Pokemon will disappear. You can easily bypass the plus system. All you have to do is just tap on the Pokemon. They'll automatically unhook the plus and you can start throwing balls like normal. Just remember, every time you do this, it's going to disconnect the plus. So you're going to have to reconnect. With the plus, you can have the application loaded in the background or have the screen off entirely. If you want to see your captures or losses, you can just look in the journal. And remember, the journal does rotate out. While using a plus, you do get XP for all the spins and captures. I also found walking is very efficient. I find that it actually records much more of the distance traveled. It's probably loaded in the background and recording much more walking data than before. This should make your egg hatching and buddy walking much better. I'm sure some of you are interested. What happens when you drive with the Plus? It pretty much works the same way as you're walking. As you're driving, it'll detect the item and you just have to press the button in time. I also noticed the faster you travel, the higher chance you're not going to be able to click on something. If you're traveling in the street in a car, it's better to actually play as a passenger than use a Pokemon Go Plus. There's a couple of problems with this Plus system, and let's go over them right now. First of all, sometimes the performance. I sometimes have problems connecting. There's a couple of times within the day which I'll get disconnected, and I'm not sure why. Reconnecting is sure easy enough. There's a couple second delay in detecting Pokestops and Pokemon. If you're in a fast moving vehicle or walking fast, you may actually skip it. And in the cluster, you're definitely going to miss something. It looks like one attempt, the Pokemon will run away. So watch in my next video, I'm going to go over a long term testing. These are my initial thoughts. The device seems to work pretty well, but it's not perfect. 